You live up to your reputation, Dr. Balfour. Your plan just might work. Then you mean we can neutralize the miasma? No, not neutralize, isolate. What do you mean? Between the Outer Lands and the Cliffoth exists a force field called the Dividing Line. Right, Tyr? Yes. It's a region of force created by the Sephiroth trees. It holds up the Outer Lands. More accurately, the upward force of the Dividing Line is in equilibrium with the planet's gravity. Lowering the Outer Lands means breaking that gravitational equilibrium. When the descent begins, the dividing line creates downward force. That becomes a membrane that will push the miasma back beneath the surface into the core. But that isn't actually getting rid of it. Are you sure it won't come out again? If the miasma originates in the core, then it flooded the cliff off because the Sephiroth are open. Once the outer lands are lowered, if we shut down all the passage rings, the Sephiroth will close, and the Miasma will stop coming out. With the core's vibration stopped, the liquefied land has begun to solidify quickly. So even if we close the Sephiroth, the land won't be swallowed up. That's fantastic! And to think you came up with it before me, the Master Physicist. Even so, we couldn't have been sure without having it checked by an expert. Now all that's left is to do something about the Sephiroth at Mount Rhaenyl. We should rest at the inn before heading there. Tyr, get them to give you some more medicine in the meantime. Oh, right. I'll do that. I think it'll take some time, so go on. Go to bed. Okay, then we'll meet up tomorrow in front of the inn. Researchers said she headed to the port with the Phonamine Gathering Team. Ash came here to see Spinoza. Supposedly, he went with her. Ash, too? What's going on? And we found this in her room. What is it? It's an ore that can be found in Orshan Cavern. So Tyr went to go do something in Orshan Cavern? Yeah. What do you want to do? Go after her. What else? Right, let's go. said to let them through. Ignore them and return to your work. Yes, ma'am. What's that mean? Just what I said. You're searching for Tyr and Ash, are you not? I'll let you pass. Go on in. This is certainly a surprise. I'm merely respecting Commandant Grant's wishes. You're headed for Mount Roneal next anyway. 
We'll settle things between us there. I'm worried about Tyr and Ash. Let's hurry. This is where... Ash. What's wrong, Natalia? No, it's nothing. Ah! Are you okay? <sighs> You're actually kind of a klutz, aren't you? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing Thank you, Luke. Don't worry about it. Let's get going. I see your friends have come for you. Go. You too, Ash. Van, if you keep this up, the Miasma will destroy your body too. All that matters is that I free humanity from the score and give it a way to survive. Master Van, what were you doing here? They're planning to abandon Belkind and move to a new Fomacry research facility. Master, why are you so obsessed with making a replica world? Fomacry consumes large volumes of Seventh Phonons. Even with all the Seventh Phonons in the world, you still couldn't replicate the entire planet. He intends to use the enormous mass of Seventh Phonons in the core, Lorelei. The stronger the core's vibration, the stronger the planet's storm, and the more Seventh Phonons available. But you all put a stop to that. So that's why you didn't want the core stopped. The slightest mistake in Fomacry creates replicas that perish right away. That phenomenon is caused by seventh phonons separating from the replica. If the separation is stopped, the replica survives. It's impossible. To begin with, phonons of the same type are attracted to one another. The seventh phonons will separate from matter and return to the planet storm. He plans to destroy the aggregate of seventh phonons, Lorelei. Then the surplus seventh phonons will disappear. And without any seventh phonons to attract them, they won't separate. Without the seventh phonon, the score cannot be read. The score will disappear, and replicas will persist. Two birds with one stone. Van intends to use Luke to accomplish that. It can't be done using the reject. It has to be Ash. <sighs> Commandant, we finished loading the supplies. I need you. I'll wait for you at the absorption gate. Van, wait! I didn't want to fight you. I'm sorry it had to come to this, Mysterica. Damn it! I won't let you get away! You're in no shape to do that! It's gone, just as I thought. Where are you going? I have no time. We should return to town ourselves. Yes, 
We're near Sheridan. Can we please take that Cheagle with us? Oh, yeah. No one's going to be coming here anymore. Okay, let's take him. <laughs>